Hi, uh, we are over here in Belgrade, Serbia at the beautiful Swiss Medica clinic. Uh, my wife is the patient and I'm the husband and now transitioning into, as a caregiver as well. So first I'll let my wife give you a little bit of insight as to her experience at the Swiss Medica clinic. I just want to let everyone know that I have a serious neurological condition condition that in the United States I wasn't given much hope with or help with. We're very happy with our decision to come here. It ended up being one of the smartest things we've done recently. Many people, including medical professionals, tried to persuade us against coming for stem cell treatment since it's not, for the most part, available in the United States. Um, one neurologist told me, don't worry, we'll be much farther along with your condition in 10 years, but I don't have 10 years to wait. I had to do something now and the longer I waited, the worse it was going to be. I just want to say that I'm a former medical professional, so I'm very picky about the medical care I received, and I can, I can, um, Anyway, I'm very picky with the medical care that I get. The doctors and nurses are very thorough, very thorough, and very competent. There's not one aspect of my health that they haven't addressed. They take care of things in their health that aren't even part of what you came to the clinic for. They find them and they want to help you be the best you can be in many of the problems that you're facing. I find the whole staff to be very expert, professional, caring, and also very personable. They see you as a patient. I mean, they see you as a person as well as a patient. No question that you have is too big or too small. They'll try to answer them all. I also want to mention the food. When you come here, the food is so good. It's like they have an expert gourmet chef on staff and you're going to gain weight, not lose weight. Okay, here's my husband. Thank you, honey. Um, we had been searching for the last several months, you know, across the globe for stem cell treatments and how it might help my wife. And uh, for the most part, it was, it's you know, it is offered in other places. Uh, the other places we would have to go would be, you know, generally about 30 hours away travel time versus coming from the U.S. to Belgrade is roughly, you know, 15, 16 hours with a couple of layovers. Um, in addition, you know, there was, there's a lot of things going out there, on out there. Of course, we all know about COVID. We all know you got to be prepared to get your, your vaccines, uh, to get on the flights. You know, you got to show evidence of a negative COVID test. Um, and then, of course, you know, the conflicts going on to the north here, um, you know, gave me additional concern and, uh, one thing that I really separated the Swiss Medica team was that how responsive they were to me asking questions and us asking questions. So our representative uh, would either email very promptly, often just call, give me a direct call to my cell phone and offer to set up multiple Zooms within, you know, 24, 48 hours of the question. That was different than the other ones. The other ones um, weren't, weren't as, as responsive and, and weren't even mentioning Zoom calls. And so we really appreciated that. Um, but we didn't really know what we were getting into. And so we were still, you know, very apprehensive. 
but we went ahead and took the leap of faith and came on over here. And um, one thing that Swiss Medic kept saying, you know, I would be very picky about questions here, you know, saying a little thing of like, you know, are we going to have Y by connection? Are we going to have uh, hair dryers? You know, are we going to have shampoo? You know, all this kind of stuff. And they're saying, John, you'll be you'll be very comfortable. Let's focus on your wife's treatment. Well, being under, under, uncom- being comfortable was an understatement. We're so comfortable now, we're finding it hard to leave. Um, just to describe the facility a little bit, it's, it's a small building, five stories uh, with 10 patient rooms. And, um, the, and then they have a villa down the street here that they can easily um, shuttle people back and forth quickly. And, and my understanding is that most, a lot of the kids stay down there over at the villa. Um, but the, the clinic is really self-contained. It's, it's really ideal here. Um, you know, you've got, you know, um, you've got your, your, your lobby and your, and your physiotherapy on what they call the main floor, floor zero. And then, then most of the rooms are on, on, on this, on the first floor. And then you have, uh, the clinic where, and then the clinic is where they, you know, do basically, um, the, the basic procedures and, and the stem cell IVs and that type of thing there. And then, um, uh, believe it or not, they actually have a hospital. Um, on the second floor as well, a full bona fide hospital. An operating room. Yep, an operating room there. And, um, the, and then I, I, I'd be very remiss if I didn't mention the cafe. It was up on the third level, the top floor, and it opens up onto a nice terrace in case you want to get some fresh air or some people want to take a, a smoke or do a little bit of a yoga or whatever have you, have you up there. But it's uh, the nice thing about it being small is that when you come out of your room, you, there's an elevator that services every floor. And then when you come out of the elevator, your physio is right there to your left or your clinic is right there to the left. So there's very little walking and my wife's condition you know, has difficulty walking. So that was a very high comfort thing for us. And then, uh, you know, just the rooms are very nice. Um, and again, you've got everything you want. Great Wi-Fi, Netflix. You know, for us, we needed some English speaking things. So you got the CNN and then the the, the Bloomberg's of, of the world there for us at all the time. Um, and so yeah, that, w- that was really setting up a, a, an, an ideal thing for us uh, that I hadn't really expected. Um, and then the, you know, when I first got here, I started asking for, you know, accommodations right away and boy, they deliver, but we'd say things like our, 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 our wheelchair, you know, is not or our, our combination walker wheelchair. He's got some problems. You know, the, the brakes are loose. This, whoop, the maintenance guy is right on it, fixed it up. It's operating better than it ever has operated. Um, and then it, I said it, it would help to have it have a, a grab bar in, in the shower. Um, and what, next thing I know, the maintenance man's installing a, a grab bar. Um, and then I said, you know, it might be nice to have a little emotional, you know, psychological treatment here. Next thing I know, they said, you have an appointment tomorrow with a local psychologist. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Uh, your room will be, the cleaning team is incredible. You know, they'll, they're all over that room in the morning. And you know, I believe every day we're getting you know, fresh towels, sheets changed, and then and, and cleaning of the floors and everything. They even did our laundry twice. Yes. Took the words out of my mouth. Uh, we, we started building up laundry and all of a sudden, you know, we asked them if they could do it. And they said, absolutely. And did a great job. And the food, as my wife mentioned, is is really a way beyond the expectations. I expected to get, you know, hospital quality food. We're really getting, you know, gourmet restaurant quality food. I mean, breakfast, lunch, dinners, you know, if you get hungry, you just mentioned in the middle of the day, I mean, sometimes we're eating lunch at three or four o'clock in the afternoon. Sometimes we're eating at one o'clock. Sometimes it's all over the board. They really work around your schedule. Yeah. Everything is, 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 is to accommodate and you know, maximize yourself there. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's you know, the selections usually have a, a Three or four specials of the day, you know, some chicken, some beef, some, and possibly some fish. Um, I love salmon, so I probably had it seven or eight times here. It's better here than over in the States. There are lots of salads, food, um, the pasta is great. And so the food, uh, again, you'll, you'll probably have a little tighter belt when you leave. Um, you know, the, the, the another thing that's really nice when it comes to eating is you have the opportunity to eat either in your room in your patient room or you can go upstairs to the third floor and eat up there and a lot of times people are eating around the same 
same time. So you meet a lot of nice people from all over the world who are there for essentially the same types of reasons you are. Yeah, usually by the time you get here, you you research your local options and they haven't been satisfactory. And so now you're willing uh, to spend money and time and effort and travel to come over and to be able to meet with other people that may have similar issues, have tried other places, tried things, have been here before, and they're coming back on a repeat visit, giving you more comfort, more insight. So we've been trading phone numbers and emails with people. Um, when when uh, some people from Singapore even gave me a great uh, Netflix list of uh, great series to watch. So that was, <laughs> that was worthwhile as well. But, um, you know, between the doctors and the physio and the nurses um, and the administrative staff, not to mention, I've already mentioned the, the cleaning the kitchen staff are just off the charts and don't even forget to tell you about the drivers. But, um, you know, they all, um, they all have their, their certain jobs, but they also will all do whatever it takes at that moment to get it done. And the nurses generally are working 24 hour shifts. They're very smart, very energetic, and you will see them a lot. You'll get to know them all by the first name by the time you leave. And so, you know, their, their jobs obviously are to check in on you, make sure you're okay. They're obviously going to be checking your vitals. Um, there's, there's certain types of, you know, urine or blood or this to be taken, you know, many times throughout your visit here, all, all in an effort to make sure that you, um, your body is in the maximum position, you know, to, for the stem cell treatment to work its best. And as my wife said, um, you, you may have other issues like she's got a, a pinched nerve on her neck. Well, the physio guy is working hard on that. You may have some other thing that they can address in there as well. Um, and so we are, you know, we're very, very, uh, you know, pleased about the, the overall view of it. Um, when you, when you jump into the, the physio department, which we're in right now, they also have, they have the high tech machines, um, like, and some of them are, you can find other, other places in the world, but the physio, um, people themselves, uh, are doing things that we have not seen before. My wife has seen a number of uh, physical therapists over the last couple of years, and these guys are moving her neck around and moving her body around and targeting areas and understanding their areas different before. I also uh, want to say something about how well everybody works together. They work on a very close, you know, it's a very small group of workers. And a lot of times in the medical field, you get tired of each other, but this group really is very good about working with each other, and making sure you get all the care that you need. I, the, my understanding is that the doctors generally um, meet every morning at eight o'clock for, for a group session for, I'm guessing, you know, 45 to 60 minutes. And I think what they're doing there is collaborating um, on, they may have other, the physio may be in there as well as some of the nurses, but they all are collaborating on the, on the, um, on the patients so that each, they can share information and come and go back and forth to make sure that, uh, each person is getting, you know, the optimal treatment. And, uh, so I found that to be, um, very, uh, beneficial to us and enlightening. And, uh, they will, these, these doctors are different. They, we don't go to the doctor's office. The doctor will find us. And so we, we are, we're generally getting up at, you know, maybe 738 in the morning. But if you need to sleep later, they'll accommodate that. If you're an early bird, they'll accommodate that. They come to your room. They find out where you are in the cafeteria. They'll sit on your bed while they're talking to you. Right. Or they'll sit next to your breakfast while they're talking to you. And they'll, what they will do, at, because they generally have come out of their collaborative meeting, and it will be going over, okay, the test results came in for yesterday and you, you reacted well to this, you didn't do this, you're having this allergic reaction to this, we're going to handle it this way. And if that doesn't work, we have a backup plan for this. So it's it's far more comprehensive, detailed and sensitive uh, than I ever thought it would be. And um, so just lots of personal content, um, attention. And you're not trapped here in the clinic too. If you want to go out, number one, you got the terrace on the top. But you can also go out. Um, there's a group of drivers. I believe they're all men. So I'll say the gentleman. Um, and they've been great because I'm the kind of guy that says, okay, you know, we're, I'm going to be here 10, 12 days, maybe 18, 24 days, whatever. I need to get out. So these guys are driving me, um, 
Um, they've taken me to go play golf. They, they've taken me to workout facility. Um, they've taken us shopping uh, a couple of times. Mm-hmm. We just got back from it to get some Belgrade t-shirts because we're actually leaving tomorrow. Um, but, um, you know, whatever we ask for, they just do um, everything they possibly can, to, you know, to accommodate it. And uh, and then they're, you know, they're not nickel and diamond you like a hospital. You know, if I, I had a little cold or something and, and I needed an antihistamine, but they didn't just throw it at me. They evaluated me and then, then tried one way and then another way and, and got rid of the head cold. And um, so it's just been uh, very refreshing in that way. And um, I think the um, the password here for the Wi-Fi uh, which is health 100% <clears throat> kind of says it all. They want you to be healthy all the way around. So they're going to be looking at more than what you just came here for. And uh, so my recommendation is give Swiss Medica a try. You'll be, you'll be very pleased. Thank you.